what is happening guys today i'm going to do an unboxing and a review on the spyderco cricket wait ronnie how do you do oh right i just opened this channel with a joke um last week i had the opportunity to have a threesome but if i wanted to disappoint two people at once i'd have dinner with my parents ronnie how do you do an unboxing and review well i used to have this knife and I lost in 2014, and I just never, you know, bought another one. I always wanted to. I love the shape of this. I love that it's so tiny and cute. Uh, it's simple liner lock. It's a little stiff. But um, I just saw it at Weeby Knives in San Francisco, Pier 39. I thought they closed down, but they didn't, thank God, my favorite store. And uh, I got one for a really good price. I got this one for about 80 bucks. So... Uh, I bought this actually for my editor, you know, why would I, I'm into butterfly knives and beating the hell out of them. I can't take this camping or anything, but I got one for my, this is for my editor. Uh, yeah, I have an editor now. Hopefully he'll make my channels proper and, uh, you guys should go follow my other channel, but enough about that. This is a, a review on this knife. First of all, I think I would classify this as a gentleman's knife because it goes pretty good with a suit. It's pretty cute. Yeah, no one's intimidated by it. You can almost say it's cute. It's a really nice ergonomic. You can almost you can choke up on the handle. Uh, this isn't very a hard use knife. It's you know, like I said, it goes with a suit. I'd say it's a gentleman's knife. Uh, the material is a VG10, so it is a pain to sharpen, and the fact that it's curved makes it even more difficult to sharpen. So uh, if you have a flat stone. I'd buy something ceramic, like a sharp maker, or just something. Yeah, buy, buy a proper sharpener for this. Because um, it is VG10, along with the curve, it makes it a little difficult to sharpen. I do wish that the pocket clip was, uh, you can adjust it in different positions, but they decided not to. So only tip down, cute little lanyard hole. Uh, it's very sleek, I like it. There is a serrated version and, uh, oh, because it's curved, the material has nowhere to go but to hug the material. The material has nowhere to go but to hug the blade more. So this is a very good cutter. And because it's curved, it actually has a longer uh, cutting length than it, it does blade length. Uh, what else? When you're sharpening this, be very careful not to run off the uh, whetstone or whatever you're using because you will end up dulling that tip. If you just keep rubbing, running off the way you sharpen. Just, just be careful how you sharpen this. Uh, what else? You can choke up on the handle. I love that. It's much easier to maintain this knife than it is to sharpen it. So if you have it, just every time you use it, give it a couple strops with the leather belt or something. A couple passes on the strop or leather belt. Another thing I really like about this knife is... That giant flat side is, it's slippery, uh, but also this is an amazing canvas. I mean, as an artist, I can engrave whatever on this, but I think that's super cool. It's, it has pretty good thickness. I mean, so you can engrave pretty deep on here, I'd say. And yeah, really cool. You can customize this if you're into that. But uh, that's my little review on this. I remember dailing this and it was super cute, very fun. A lot of people love the look of this because it's just an odd knife. You don't see this design anywhere else. But um, yeah, guys, this is my review. Much love. And hopefully my editor loves this. It is a, The detent's very strong, by the way, so you'll get used to that. I, I've never been able to flip this open, like flick it. It's, okay, whatever. Anyways, much love, guys. Me being dumb. I hope that edited out.